Hey guys, it's me Serena. I'm not in front of the camera today, but I'm doing my Sasa and kind of eBay haul. So basically, let me start on this side of the pile. Um, I The run up to this is basically I was using uh, Good Things by a company, a UK company, and I just realised it just really wasn't doing anything for me. So out of frustration, I hit to YouTube and then I came across Sasa. So basically, these are the products that I picked up. Um, they caught my eye, did a little bit of research behind them. So base, this starting off is a peeling gel. So it's kind of like a, a mask that you put on, you let it set and then it, um, and then you peel it off. And basically what it's supposed to do is help rejuvenate your skin and taking away the impurities and etc. It's got AHA in it, which is meant to be good. For, it's like a chemical influence exfoliant instead of like a physical one so like you know beads and stuff whereas this has got like um I see the apple on there it's all in korean so basically i can't read it but i have done my own kind of research so basically what i do is i'll put this into my a cleansed face leave it for 10 minutes it will dry and then i'll peel it off and that's kind of like a treatment once a week or so um so and that's that so i'm looking forward to see that i only got two sachets they were like 80 pence so i was just like i don't know if i'm gonna like it or not so i just got that to try it off um the next two are from Haba Labo and basically this is a cleansing wash and again it's got the AHA in it and the BHA which is um, again mild acids that help cleanse the face and basically it's infused with keratin and like some softening agents and it's meant to remove blackheads and impurities from inside the pores and improve dull skin uh, skin tone so I've been looking for a wash that has got this in it because I have got um, milia on my eyes and obviously you can't really put too much um, strong things on your eyes like you can't use an exfoliant on your eyes so I um, wanted to find like something that had uh, that ingredient in it and so basically Habalabo is a combination of a Japanese and a U, uh, an American brand. So um, and their philosophy is keeping it simple but with the best ingredients. So this is the moisture. It's all in Japanese, this one, because this is a Japanese product. And um, so basically this is a moisture, um, like a moisturizer, basically. And the emphasis on here is more on the kind of the moisture basically um and that's those are those two and then moving on i have got aqua moist which is also juju cosmetics now this is a toner and it's a vitamin c toner again it's meant to help um keep the clean skin clear as like a second your second step and I didn't realize that for a very long time even though I used to work for Biofirm that toning was like a really important step because that is a step that closes your pores and neutralizes the skin um basically so anyway I've done uh I've seen loads of like blog posts on this so um and watched a couple of videos so I was just trying to check it out to see what it's like so that so that one um I should have started an order really. Well, this is a cleansing oil, so it's it helps remove like your makeup and what have you. I have actually got one that I'm using that I'm finishing, so I want and that's on Dermatologica and it is probably a quarter of the size and it's so expensive. So I wanted to try something along the lines again. I saw this on a review and I really wanted to check it out, so that's that. Um, Da, 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 da. trying to keep this quick this is an essence pack by aqua moist again and it's a essence jewel pack it kind of worked out cheaper to get the jewel pack than to get the single one which i was um getting which was the hydrochloric acid essence which is again for moisturizing and it does say a whitening essence but for me it's more of making my skin an even skin tone instead of not going down crazy and trying to bleach my skin <laughs> or anything like that and then again these i've never really tried um eye moisturizers or eye creams before um so this was like kind of on a special wanted to try it out 
Um, and it was, again, it was a two, two, what's it? A two part, two part. It was like $7 or something crazy like that. So which is about four pounds. And it's, um, one's like a firming gel and one's like a hydrating gel. And both you can use at morning and night. Um, my second one was a OC rose hip peeling gel um basically again i saw a review on this and it looked pretty cool um i did purchase this before i purchased the um of oh, the cure Nat natural gel which i will do a review on once i've used it for long enough um there this is pretty good because it's all in english um dissolve the cuticles um, blackheads in one minute and it's like deep cleansing so something that you would do probably like two to three times a week um again it's the same kind of uh what's the word it's the same kind of technology as the cure natural the cure thing and then basically it came with one of these which is a whitening mask um it says whitening and eliminating imperfections not sure if i'll use that or not but i'll just check it out to see what it's like it came it was free um and then i got these which i'm really happy about these are my skin diaries um it's a strawberry yogurt mask and basically it's a new one um and it's for moisturising and just kind of like pampering the skin and stuff. There's 10 in here, which is really, really good, I think. So I'll let you know how those go. Um, what else? <laughs> yeah, again, I got suckered in with the Tony Moly stuff. I really love this packaging. It's amazing. And basically, this is Apple Tox. And it's a smooth massage peeling cream. I think I've gone a bit crazy with the peeling creams. But hey, I don't need... To, I'm not going to use them all at the one time, but it just kind of worked out cheaper to try things. Um, this right here is just some cotton wool. Um, it was really cheap. It was like 80 pence, which is, you know, cheaper than what we get in, in a pound shop. And this I picked up from eBay, actually. It's like a mask DIY kit. Um, it's got like a little mixing bowl and a little... Um, what's it a spatula and uh these are brushes so they're called pack brushes which a lot of asian and like japanese chinese korean um people use to put their masks on instead of dipping their hands into the product itself which kind of makes sense you know can cross contamination and whatever and this is kind of like a um like a washing mitt kind of thing so you can see her washing her paws um there so i thought i'd try that out and i got some samples with because tony moly came off ebay and i got some skin food samples so it's a um bb cream which has got an spf for 36 and fresh apple sparkling pore cream not quite sure what that is i'll check it out and then from saza i got this which i really like i I'm always need a post it so i'm pretty cool with that so thank you for looking at my watching my haul brother i've got a lot of things to try i'm not going to try them all at the same time because that would be crazy um but yeah i'll do individual reviews i think or just like combination reviews on similar companies and how i've used them so thanks for watching bye